So we finally got our sawmill up here to the homestead. Um, you guys, if you guys didn't know, we have a sawmill. It's been over at my buddy Kevin's house from Hidden Heights Farm on YouTube. Go check him out. Um, him and my father-in-law and his dad helped. Um, we all got together and put this thing together in like four days. Um, it's probably been well over a year and a half ago or so, maybe a little longer, um, maybe two years. I don't know. It's been a while. Um, we haven't got to use it a whole lot because we've been doing get moved out here and just haven't had time to get it over here. But now we need a lot of siding. Um, I want to get the tiny cabin done with the siding and we need to get the well house done the siding and then we can move on to the main house. So my plan was to get this sawmill um, so I can do my own siding and my own outhouses with the wood. Um, you know, like smoke houses, little shelters, a barn, things like that. Um, so now that we got out here, um, we should be able to do a lot, get ready. We should be able to do a lot more uh, milling. Um, and it's going to be way more convenient now that I have the bobcat. I need to get a grappler for it uh, just because it's a little difficult with those long forks uh, to maneuver it on here. Um, stay tuned till the very end. Maybe I'll show you a little blooper or two um, that happened because I'm either doing this by myself. Um, it, it's, uh, it's, it'd be kind of dangerous to get Brandy out here right now. If I had a grapple, it'd be a lot easier, um, but I don't want Brandy out here messing around and something fall on her and hurt her or whatnot. Um, but we'll get her out here eventually and we'll start milling stuff together. Um, but today, um, I got a piece of hickory here, a piece of hickory. I got a big hickory tree right here and I've cut it to 12 foot. That's about all this mill can handle. Um, I can get extenders for this to make it go pretty much as long as you want. Um, but right now we just had 12 footers and that's going to be perfect for the length of the tiny cabin and for the well house the well the well house i think is only 10 foot um so we're not going to get a lot of siding out of this i i need to get um i need to get used to this again i haven't got to use this in quite a while so it's going to take me a little bit to get things dialed back in um, but i do have a piece of nice um, hickory here that i'm going to start milling and we'll use this um, either probably for the tiny cabin to get it finished you guys seen that we already got some on there um, so we'll jump in here we'll turn we'll get the mill going and we'll see what we can get done today i'm probably just going to do a rough cut um, and uh, kind of just go from there like i said this this is more practice for when we try to do the main house i would love to do the main house off wood from this property i don't know if that's what we're going to do or not but that's something i really wish we could we'll just kind of wait and see um, how everything goes and how it looks and all that so let's get busy milling this up i'm um, cutting into this um, probably 60 year old tree for the first time Okay, I made my first cut and probably first mistake. I put the, the, the big butt in on the on the front up here and I couldn't remember if you're supposed to do the skinny in on or the, <laughs> I can't remember, but it cut a lot more off the off this um, than I would like, but it, it balanced, it evens itself out because I was skinny on one side, thick on the other. Um, you're pretty much, that's how it's gonna be no matter what you do with these trees like this. Um, so I, was either, I either make one cut like that or like several smaller cuts and it all equals the same. But I got a flat surface. Um, I could roll this over so I have a flat surface to work with. But since I'm doing a live edge, I'm going to leave it just how it is. And I'm going to start cutting some uh, um, probably like half inch um, planks off here. Um, but let me show you. Let me run some water across this just so you can see how awesome this looks. Um, this old hickory tree. Um, it's been down over here for probably a good eight months. Um, so it's still got it's still got probably got quite a bit of moisture content in it but it's not as as wet as a live tree obviously when you just cut it down um so this what well, we need to get one then i need to get a, a moisture tester because um, i need to see how wet this stuff is 
Let's get us a cup of water here. You tell the difference, that's just awesome looking. And Kevin's got some maples and some other things that look real. Walnut, I think, yeah, Kevin's got some walnut, some other trees that look awesome too. I really like the way the walnuts look, but I like this hickory look too. Um, I think it's gonna look great on the side of the cabin since we already got some on there. Uh, so let's cut a few more of these and see how it goes. Okay, so I made some pre-lines and they're not the best, but my blade will line up with them. They're about half the inch. And it's a little skinnier, so I'll raise the blade up just a little bit. But it gives me a pretty good diagram of um, how, how I want the siding that way I don't have to like try to measure it all I already measured it on here that would give me that would be pretty close and that'd be good enough for what we're doing Okay, I just cut in and today's price is about a $2,000 um, hickory tree and I'm making some siding for our cabin um, across the way and here's what I came up with for siding. Um, it's about a quarter of an inch. I was going for a half inch but with the blade width and all that we have about a quarter of an inch. We got three slabs so far and I think it's going to be pretty dang awesome. So we already got hickory on the other one. Um, on the cabin itself we already got some of these hickory up there but yeah with today prices you're probably looking at about two thousand dollar tree um just with these these things right here i'm telling you go to lowe's price uh the slabs and uh, you'll see what i'm talking about it's ridiculous um, but i'm glad we finally got the sawmill up here at the property and now we can start getting some siding done and some other projects done for around the, the new homestead we're developing okay this actually looks pretty dang decent for our first really go around here on the property um i think this is going to work awesome you know it's going to it's going to shrink a little bit um from from when it dries out even more um, but let's set this on the side and uh, we'll start stacking some of this maybe we'll put it right over here This piece is a little thinner than I would like, but we'll see what it does. I forgot my handle over at Kevin's, I'll have to go get it. 
So let's rotate it and turn it and all that. Okay, so you can see I'm having trouble with keeping these on, the spikes to hold it in place. And we've always had trouble with that. Well, it ended up turning the log a little bit, which isn't a big deal for what we're doing. But um, you can see it's more like lap siding right here than just a flat, which will be fine. But I saw that's not really what I was going for. Um, I was going for more of the same thickness all the way through. This will actually work. Um, so we got to we gotta keep tinkering with it. So I wouldn't be against go ahead and slapping these up on the cabin. They'll shrink. That's what we did. The other ones look pretty dang good. Um, but right now I'm just going to cut a few more, get them stacked, and then the next few days um, we'll probably get them on there. We'll probably use screws to get on there, get them on there, and uh, it's going to look really, really good. And uh, we can all, I don't know if people stain them or what they do, um, but we'll figure something out to kind of maybe protect it a little bit better. Uh, this is this is fun. I love, that's why I got this. I, just, I love doing stuff outside. I love cutting the wood. I love splitting wood. I, lo I just love this stuff. So if you guys are wondering what this machine is, it's a Norwood HD 36 um, Pro, Lumber Pro. And I think this was the biggest one that they sold at the time. I think they actually got a bigger one now because uh, we've had this for a year and a half, two years, something like that. It's been a while. And uh, it still looks brand new. Um, but hopefully we can get some hours put on it now and get some projects done. Uh, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna finish cutting a few more of these and then we're gonna go check on the Cooney Coons. Uh, Cooney Cooney, Cooney Cooney Pigs. And uh, we'll go check out Pearl and uh, Percy. Oh, Pearl and Percy. Oh, look, hey, hey Hadley, look, puppy. Look, there's a peacock, there's a bobby feather. They're oh. getting hungry. I could tell by how grumpy they're acting. Can you hear them? Yeah. She's coming to feed you. What food do they, do they eat? Huh? Which one do they eat? The one over there. Where? Did you turn it off? Put one right there. You get, no, just pour the food over because I don't want to open the gate. Are you going to feed them, Randy? Yeah. So we got Pearl and Percy. Oh, Percy. I actually like the name Perry, like uh, Hayden said. Randy. But it's too late to say Perry. That's not her name. So what's today, Brandy? What special day is it? 
Hayden's birthday. How old is she? Thirteen. We have a thirteen-year-old. Wow. You can put one. Neat, put one there. They're going to fight over it. They're like little bulldozers. We separate their. We've been separating their food, but um, right here. But they'll they'll go after the same one for a minute. And Percy's a little bulldozer. There he goes. He sees it now. Oh man, he's stout. Yeah, they're all there. Let me see if that says it's a cup. So we let them um, roam around today, and they were like walking up the road to the main road. So we had to get them and bring them back in here. I didn't film any of that. But today's a special day. If you guys get a chance, go tell Hayden on her YouTube channel, Happy Birthday. Her YouTube channel name is Hayden Riley. She turned 13 today. She's the big 13 year old. Then we got Hadley. She's 12, and Hope is eight. Um, so that's the how spread out they are. Hadley and Ho H Hadley and Hayden are 11 and a half months 11 and a half months apart. They were both 12 yesterday. They were both 12 yesterday. And Hayden's 13. So go tell Hayden, um, happy birthday over on her channel, Hayden Riley. Let's give her a sub subscribe. She's almost 10,000. And she? tell her to put a video out. Yeah, we're trying to get her to put more videos out. What? On on the Jiffy stop sign that says happy it said birthday. Happy birthday, didn't it? Yeah. Hi, Percy. And Pearl. They're eating their food. Oh, there's Bobby. Oh, chickens. Girls, it's about time to roost for the night. Yeah. There he is. Hi, Bob. I guess he doesn't want to look at me right now. Are they allowed to eat hay? Yeah, but that's what's in their bed. Come on. Uh.